Alright guys, the Punisher Max 17 here today, and this is my one and only work in progress for this kit right here, the Master Grade Rezel. This is the mass production type. Now, I basically wanted to make this work in progress because there's some internal frame detailing that I did that I kind of wanted to show off. And if I just did the review, then you probably weren't going to be able to see it, even if I do a uh, inner frame kind of review and then cut to the full armor version. I don't know, I just thought I'd show it off so you guys could, could get a better look. So let's see. This is about half the parts right here. I'm most of the way, three-fourths the way through painting it, I should say. Uh, this is the armor parts, as you can see, the blue stuff. Uh, that's not really what I'm going to focus on in this video, but that is that kind of a custom color. It's supposed to be a darker blue. It wasn't my original intention to make it this color. I actually uh, started painting it with the darker colors for the shading, and then kind of realized the darker color was really the color I was wanting to make it all over. So I just went with a lighter color. I don't think it turned out too bad. The shading looks nice to me, at least, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, let's get to the, some of this inner frame stuff. So I did a bunch of detailing on this inner frame, as you can see here. What I did is I painted each piece in gunmetal. I just coated it in gunmetal. And then I have a bunch of Citadel paints. These over here. I got uh, Mithril Silver, uh, the Bolt Gunmetal. Let's see, I'm using this Tester's Gold. I have, uh, what is this called? Uh, dwarf Bronze. And I also have a Chainmail. Ah, here we go. Chainmail. So a bunch of different shades of gray, copper, and gold, and I just did a bunch of detailing. So, as you can see, there's differences between the gunmetal, which is kind of the all-over color here, and this is the chainmail, and then the detailing in gold and stuff. A bunch of nice colors I like. Uh, it really gives it some nice variation, in my opinion. Let's see, I also did some painting in this Tamiya gold leaf color, as you can see right here. This isn't the tester's gold, this is a Tamiya gold leaf acrylic paint that actually turned out astoundingly well in my opinion. I absolutely love the color it made, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, let's see, I painted some pieces like these thrusters in uh, the titanium, not titanium, uh, chrome. Painted those in silver chrome. And lastly here, I took these uh, red parts, they were this light clear red that I really didn't like, and I didn't think it was going to go with this lighter color anyway, so I went over it with a clear yellow and made it a kind of orangey color. Now I know my camera's not exactly focusing real great on this stuff up close, but if you can see. And I did the same thing to the beam sabers here. Made them this clear orange color, and I actually like it a whole lot more. Let's see if there's anything else I was going to show you. Just a few little more of the details, like the inner frame kind of stuff. I don't, I'm just I'm really happy with how this inner frame went. This is kind of how I wish my perfect grade inner frame would have went. You know, I made that back when I was really new to airbrushing and just doing Gundams in general. And looking back, I really kind of want to redo that because it's not the way I want it to be. And this this is how I want the inner frame for that to be. Gone over in gunmetal and then detailed with other silver paints. I just, I think it looks so nice overall and just everything flows well together. Now this isn't all the inner frame parts. I also have these ones over here. Let's see. Yep, all these parts and then these ones here too. Not all of them need to be detailed. These ones I just finished painting. As you can see, my hands are a mess from airbrushing and hand detailing. These ones do need paint though, but there is literally a ton of inner frame parts on this. More inner frame parts on this kit than I've had with any other MG, and this isn't even one of the bigger MGs. I mean, this is the Rezel, so it's reasonably large, but it's not like the Sananju or anything. But yeah, a lot of parts, that's my point. So, you know, I guess that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to show off the inner frame details and stuff. Now, I'm going to try to put the inner frame together on its own without putting any armor on, or as little armor as I can, and show that off in the review video for it. And I hope it turns out well, and I hope it works like I want it to, but no guarantees. That's kind of why I'm making this video. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and like, subscribe, or leave a comment if you want, and I'll see you next time.